and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Sri K. T. Ramarao, Honorable Minister for Industries, Municipal Administration and Urban Development, IT, Electronics and Communication, Government of Telangana for this session address. Good evening. Thank you. Uh, I'd like to firstly acknowledge the fact that we showed up late, but you all stayed. Thank you for that. Uh, Honorable President of uh, FTCCI, Sri Anil Agarwalji, Ajay Sanjanji, my Principal Secretary, Mr. Anil Chalmalashetti, the uh, guest of honor today. Also, we have uh, Sri Arunji, we also have Suresh we have uh, Sudhakar Ji, uh, uh, you know, from uh, Sudhaka Pipes and Khyati, and to the entire um, family of FTCCI. Thank you for inviting me the third time because, you know, there was a time when I was accused of uh, not showing up for FTCCI events. But I think now that smear is gone. Now that I have done a hat trick, I have three times. Three times, I can't say that I can't say that I can't say that. और मैं भी ये भी कहना चाहता हूँ कि तेलंगाना बनने के बाद तीसरी इलेक्शन भी आगे आने वाली है। तो जैसे मैंने हैट्रिक किया आपके साथ आप भी मेरे साथ हैट्रिक करो और मुझे वापस लाओ। ये भी आपके कहने से। I'm going by the floor and thinking welcome back. Just quickly, Mr. Agarwal spoke about how the state has grown by leaps and bounds. Arun ji also was pointing out to how this is a bright spot for the industry across the nation. You know, blowing one's own trumpet all the time is not a, not a very cool thing, but it's my fiduciary responsibility also to make sure that all of you understand the kind of growth that we have witnessed over the last nine years, especially as we enter the 10th year after the formation of the state. Um, let me quickly highlight a few things. Of course, Governance is a permanent institution. Government is a permanent institution. You know, government, the leaders who head the government might change, but it's a continuous process. Lots of times what happens is, especially from a business perspective, policy continuity is extremely important. You know, there is one government during whose tenure you would have set up an industry and you would expect that whatever, whatever promises were made by that particular government will be kept by the succeeding government as well, irrespective of political affiliations, irrespective of, uh, uh, you know, their overall strategies and overall worldviews. In Telangana, if you've noticed over the last nine years, you've seen a very unique model. I was mentioning it yesterday in a builders meeting. Now, I think most of you who are seniors and because, you know, you work in an organization which was set up in 1971, I'm presuming that uh, most of you are Hyderabadis and who've been here for the longest time, three, four, five decades and more. So let me give you two examples that you can relate to. Back in early 2000s and late 90s, we had a Chief Minister, Sri Chandrababu Naidu, with a very pro-business, pro-IT image. It was considered very business savvy, it was considered very business friendly, etc. And then in 2004, we had another Chief Minister, Dr. Vyas Rashtri Garu who came in, who are a very pro-pharma, pro-welfare, pro-rural kind of an image. So we had a chief minister who was pro-business, pro-urban, pro-business, and then we had a chief minister who was pro-pharma, pro-rural, pro-poor. Today, if you look at Telangana, what makes this unique is, KCR Garu has an image of both. In fact, it's a blend of best and both. We have a pro-rural, pro-agriculture, pro-welfare uh, image. We also have a pro-business, pro-urban, pro-development image. Now, let me substantiate and let me back that up by a few statistics. As was pointed out, the gross state domestic product of the state in 2014 was 5 lakh, 5,000 crore. Now it's 13.27 lakh crore. It's a huge, humongous growth. Highest for any state in the country. The per capita was 1,12,000 in 2014. Now it's 3,17,000. Highest for any state in India today. I mean, uh, for the 28 states in India. Let me also point out, the key sectors where we had to consolidate our strengths, where we had to ensure that all the synergies that are possible, you know, in terms of, because you know, there is an existing ecosystem, so we want to build on, you know, brick by brick that was built with uh, 
great deal of love and affection, great deal of effort in the past had to be consolidated. So if you look at it, life sciences is a sector where we certainly added a lot of vigor, a lot, a lot of strength. And today we are a formidable force, not just in India, but also in the world. We produce 40% of India's pharmaceuticals from Telangana. We also produce one third of world vaccines. And next year, in fact, we'll be producing one half, 50% of global vaccines. Let me also share with you. Let me also share with you. We have the world's largest number of US FDA approved manufacturing facilities for any province in the world. The largest number is in Telangana, 214. The second largest is in New Jersey with 189. So we have the largest number of such world-class manufacturing facilities right here. Not only do we have these, we are further consolidating on our life science strengths. So we have launched India's largest medical devices park in Sultanpur, Padanchal, which is again, or which almost, uh, which houses more than 60 units now, including the world's largest stent manufacturing facility. Also now, we are in the process, last leg rather, of launching the world's largest pharma cluster in uh, Mucherla, which is about 30 kilometers south of Shamshabad Airport. If you have heard me clearly, you would have heard not India's largest, but repeatedly world's largest. Now, one of the things our Honorable Chief Minister believes in firmly is, if we really have to compete with the world, with the large manufacturing countries across the world, be it China, or be it the US, or any other large manufacturing country, we need to operate on scale, at scale. Only then will you be able to bring in economies of scale, compete. I remember in this exact venue about two years ago, when Mr. Piyush Goyal was here, he and I, we sat with all India med devices manufacturers as part of the annual flagship event of uh, Telangana government, Bio-Asia. I had invited Mr. Goyal, he was here. So we were having a closed door discussion. So since it was a closed door discussion, we asked the representatives of the medical devices industry to speak freely and openly. And Mr. Goyal is a very progressive man and he was very keen to hear from the industry. This was almost, I think, uh, right around the time of COVID, two years ago. So, a round table meeting thing. Us may say, a industry leader ne, I don't want to take the name. Good thing. He was standing up and he said, "Sir, the thing is this: that today I have bought a mask from China or something like that, and I ship it to Hyderabad or wherever in India. It actually is cheaper than manufacturing here." It actually is cheaper than manufacturing here. Now you tell me what is wrong in what I said or what you know. You want us to compete with Chinese. You want us to compete with other large manufacturing medical devices companies across the world. आप कहते हो आप मुझे अगर भारत कैसे करें बताइए? क्योंकि मैं वहाँ से शिप करता हूँ हजारों मिल आती हैं मैं टैक्सेस पे करता हूँ जो भी इंपोर्ट ड्यूटी से सब पे करता हूँ फिर भी वो चीप होता है यहाँ बनाने से ज़्यादा तो this is one thing that was pointed out, which really led to a lot of thinking, a lot of real churn. I mean, not just med devices. Today, India imports 78% of medical devices, 80% of edible oils, and the list goes on. The list goes on. There are several things for which we are heavily dependent. Even the pharmaceutical industry that I just talked about. Heavy dependence on importing APIs from China. So my point is, if we really have to make a statement and make an impact on the world, on the world stage. I think we have to think at scale. Our Honorable Chief Minister led a delegation to China in 2015 as part of the World Economic Forum summer event. He went to a place called Shicho. I think if I'm pronouncing it uh, right, it's Shicho. He was amazed to see a 70,000 acre industrial park. 70,000 acres. When he came back, he told us, he said, they are on a different planet. The point I am trying to make gentlemen and ladies is I think federations are good, 
sense of competition among Indian states is good. But the fact is, even after 75 years of independence, I mean, I can take relative comfort. Jab Anil ji kehte hain, Arun ji kehte hain ki Telangana bright spot hai. Mujhe khushi hoti hai, khushi mehsus hoti hai. Kyunki achcha lagta hai sunne ko ki ab baaki rajon se better hai. But ek Hindustani honi ke nate, you also feel bad. Achcha nahi lagta hai sunke ki hum 78% medical devices import karte hain. 80% edible oils import karte hain. As an Indian citizen, as an Indian, you don't feel good about it. So my humble request to you is, I think Telangana should not just be a bright spot among all Indian states. We should show the other rasta of Hindustan and tell us that business on a global scale, impactful statement, and I request FTCCI to start thinking big, to start dreaming big, to start really aspiring to do more things. I understand that there are impediments, I understand that there are always going to be challenges. And I got a lot of time, I got a lot of time to listen to it, that yes, it's okay, but if the return on investment is good, if we're making money, everything's going on, then what's going on? It's going on, 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 it's going on. I think at some point of time, if India really has to take its place under the sun, in the first world where it rightfully belongs. We all have to start thinking big, we all have to start dreaming big. And I can give you two, three examples. There's a company in Hyderabad, Azad Engineering, I think it is called. I'm proud, you know, they started right in front of our eyes. But today, they are working with global majors like Boeing, GE and others. I was so impressed learning about this company and how, what kind of partnership they've been forging. Not just that, I'm equally impressed and equally proud that sky route is not a secret here. The first Indian space tech company to have sent a rocket into the orbit came from Tiha. And what's even more impressive, what's even more impressive is Elon Musk, who is a thought leader and a disruptor, has to do three attempts to send SpaceX to orbit, in orbit. But our Hyderabad company, our Hindustani company, sky route, उसने पहले ही एक दिन में विक्रम ऐसे करके विक्रम सालवाई के नाम पे जो रॉकेट था पहले ही एक दिन में उसे स्पेस में भेजा। In the same week, we had another हैदराबादी कंपनी कॉल्ड ड्रोवा स्पेस, which also sent nano satellites into the orbit. I'm saying if these youngsters can conquer the space, they can tread new territories, and if they can conquer the unconquered, I think most of you who are experienced, seasoned, who have at least who have had stars in their eyes at some point, I think you'll have to start grooming your next gen and grooming your own companies to take on the big boys in the world. Yes, we are proud of the kind of progress Indian industry is making. Of course, we take a lot of pride. But, because you will see, you will see, you will see, you will see, the phone is in your hand, the car is in your hand, मैं जिसमें बात कर रहा हूँ, शोर करके कंपनी है। आपके हाथ में फोन होगी या तो एप्पल या सैमसंग या कोई और HTC या OnePlus और आप घर जाके देखिएगा, आप गाड़ी में जाएंगे या तो Mercedes, Benz या Beamer और Volvo और Kia और Toyota और something else, Honda, कुछ लोग Mahindra और Tata भी इस्तेमाल करते होंगे, but ज़्यादातर लोग यही इस्तेमाल करते हैं और घर जाके देख एक बार 360 देख लेना कितने इंडियन पावर्स ये भी देखना एक बार आपके घर में जो टीवी है आपके घर में जो वॉशिंग मशीन है आपके घर में जो छोटे छोटे चीज है 70 to 85 percent will be important and if you think for a minute and next time you go abroad जैसे अभी अनिल जी ने कहा कि हम लोग डेलीगेशन लेके गए थाईलैंड और वियतनाम मैं सोच रहा था वहाँ बैठन मैं बात ये कहना चाहता हूँ कि हाँ हम लोग तरक्की कर रहे हैं, हम लोग प्रोग्रेस हो रहे हैं, but this is because of the demographic dividend that we reap. You know, this is by default. We're not doing anything extraordinary. We're not doing anything extraordinarily innovative. Unfortunately, that spark जो था लगना था, मैं आपको एक एग्जांपल देता हूँ। मैं गया था जापान। एक चार पांच साल पहले मैं जाए, हमारी पूरी टीम गई थी। मुझे वहाँ दो चीज अच्छ 
एक तो पहले दिन हम लोग देख रहे थे क्योंकि मैं म्यूनिसिपल मिनिस्टर भी हूं तो मैं देख रहा था सारा जगह साफ है एकदम साफ सुथरा क्लीन टोक्यो में लोग इधर उधर जा रहे हैं एक मीटिंग से दूसरा मीटिंग कहीं भी कोई कचरा नहीं कुछ नहीं तो मेरे साथ एक जापानी साथी था इंडियन एम्बेसी का उससे पूछा मैंने कि भाई क्या करते क्या हो तुम लोग कैसे इतना साफ वो हंस दिया कुछ नहीं बोला मैं बोला एक आदि रीत है तो अगले दिन फिर से पकड़ लिया मैंने उसको ऐसे हाउ डू यू कीप इट क्लीन हाउ डू यू कीप यू सी क्लीन स्माइल अगेन डिंट आंसर लास्ट डे ऐसे आई हैव टू होल्ड दिस फेलो वी गेट एन आंसर आउट ऑफ क्या इन लोग ये लोग क्या दो तीन चार पांच बार पांच बार क्लीन कर रहे हैं क्या सिटी को क्या कर रहे हैं तो ऐसे हाउ डू यू कीप यू सी क्लीन स्माइल एंड ही सेड वी डोंट डर्ट इट इन द फर्स्ट प्लेस कॉमन सेंस है उसने कहा कि अगर कचरा फेंकना ही नहीं है तो उठाने की जरूरत है ही नहीं सिंपल लॉजिक That was the first thing that was very impressive. The Japanese mindset. The second thing, we ended up at Suzuki factory in Hamamatsu. From Tokyo, we boarded a bullet train. We went to Hamamatsu. We met with the chairman of Suzuki, and then before the meeting, uh, we were told that there is a little time, a little time. So, what is it? It is a museum. It is Suzuki Museum. Go there and tell us a little about it. One hour, twenty minutes. तो हम लोग गए वहां पे तो तो देख रहा था तो देखा मैंने कि छोटे छोटे बच्चे शायद दूसरी या सेकंड और थर्ड ग्रेडर्स किड्स इन सेकंड और थर्ड ग्रेड दे वर देयर वो लोग तो अवेलेबल तो मैं बोला यार जब मैंने ऐसे व्हाट इज द पर्पस ऑफ दिस ही सेड मोस्ट लर्निंग इज इंसिडेंटल मोस्ट ऑफ द लर्निंग इज इंसिडेंटल वी मेक इट लाइक अ जॉयस प्लेफुल एक्सपीरियंस बट वी आर इंकल्केटिंग डिजाइन थिंकिंग फ्रॉम अ अर्ली स्टेज बच्चे को हम एक उसके मन में बिठा रहे हैं कि आप भी गाड़ी बना सकते हो जो जैसा आपको चाहिए वैसा बना सकते हो तो कोई बड़ी बात नहीं है गाड़ी बनाना ये बचपन से हम करते हैं उसके दिमाग में दैट इज वाई जापान इज वन ऑफ द स्मार्टेस्ट मैन्युफैक्चरिंग कंट्रीज इन द वर्ल्ड दिस वॉज अ मैसेज दैट किड्स एंड दर्ड एंड द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग आई टेल यू अबाउट जापान विच आई ट्रूली एडमायर दंट्री हमारी इंडिपेंडेंस मिली हमें हिंदुस्तान को आजादी मिली नाइनटीन में आपको बताइए हम अभी 75 फाइव हम लोग कंप्लीट कर चुके राइट अराउंड टाइम ऑफ इंडिपेंडेंस ऑफ इंडिया जापान वॉज ओनली कंट्री वर्ल्ड वॉर टू अराउंड सेम टाइम दो साल इधर उधर विच वॉज बॉम्ब इट वॉज ओनली कंट्री इन द प्लान बीन बॉम्ब बाई न्यूक्लियर बॉम्ब हिरोशिमा एंड नागर साकी वी ऑल नो द लॉस मिलियंस ऑफ लाइफ जापान कंट्री हुज पॉपुलेशन इज ट्वेल्व प्लस क्रोड नाउ 90% ऑफ देयर टेरेन इज इन हॉस्पिटल वहां लोग नहीं रह सकते या तो पहाड़ है या जंगल है या समुद्र एंड इट्स अ वेरी वेरी यू नो इट्स अ कंट्री दैट इज बीन अफेक्टेड बाय ऑल ऑल काइंड्स ऑफ नेचुरल फोर्सेस देयर आर टाइफूनस देयर आर साइक्लोन्स सुनामीज अर्थक्वेक्स एंड देन देयर वर बॉम्ब वेरी फ्यू नेचुरल रिसोर्सेस बट टुडे देयर आर द थर्ड लार्जेस्ट इकॉनमी इन द वर्ल्ड व्हाई डू यू सपोज दैट इज because the japanese have decided that their fight is against the odds unke paas kuch nahi hai natural resources nahi hai bhagwan ka matlab diya hua kuch zyada kuch nahi hai unke paas ek hi cheez hai dimag usko unhone chalaya and in the last 40 years with relentless pursuit today look around where we are you will see a japanese car you will see there a television or a car or something that has been made in japan now I think it is incumbent upon us to shed this conservative mindset. कि हमें फिर से वो sales tax का क्या कहते थे सर आप पर square foot वाला tax हटाओ हाँ हटाएंगे कोई बात नहीं वो अलग बात है but मैं क्या कह रहा हूँ थोड़ा दूर देश की बात चले तो अच्छा है I think we cannot be closeted we cannot be you know uh, you know confined to this thinking कि मुझे महाराष्ट्र के साथ compete करना है मेरी business उस बिजनेस के साथ केरल के साथ करना है या तमिलनाडु के साथ या आंध्र के साथ करना है नो आई थिंक प्लीज स्टार्ट थिंकिंग ग्लोबल एटलीस्ट नेक्स्ट जन को थोड़ा बाहर एक्सपोजर दिलाइए एक्सपोजर विजिट्स कान भी अबाउट वन मीटिंग एंड देन गोइंग अराउंड एंड यू नो टूर टूरिज्म देख के इधर उधर चार फोटो लेके वापस आए वैसे आई थिंक यू रियली हैव टू टेक आर नेक्स्ट जन यंगस्टर्स द एफटीसीसीआई यंग टीम टू एक्चुअली विजिट सम ऑफ दिस वर्ल्ड क्लास कंपनीज एंड फोकस on making sure they come back inspired and do something truly outstanding because you know the gentleman from sbi is here and he'll tell you comments of that accessibility i mean this was never the case in the past 
the entry barriers are lower it is it is done it has become easy to do business today a state like telangana tells you if you want to start a new factory in my state you don't need a permission because aap ye sun ke taaje ho you will be surprised in listening to this about 8 years ago when jai was commissioner of industry that was not the minister of industry then there was somebody else the honorable chief minister kc agar took a review so as part of the review he simply asked one question to the Special Chief Secretary Pradeep Chandra, who was the uh, you know man who was looking after industries then, and to Jay Ash, who was the Commissioner of Industries then. And I also see Ajay Mishra ji here. Hi sir. So he asked one simple question. K C R Gaya asked one simple question. He said, "Why should the government give any clearance to industry? Government to industry, what clearance is necessary? Why do we give three months, six months? Why do we give this? Why do we give that?" इंडस्ट्री को परमिशन देने की जरूरत है एक आई एस ऑफिसर जिसने 15 साल 20 साल 25 साल सर्विस में बिताया उसको एक नया चीफ मिनिस्टर उसके सामने बैठ के पूछता है कि परमिशन देने की क्या जरूरत है तो जयेश और प्रदीप एक दूसरे के चेहरे देख रहे कि अभी क्या बोल रहे हैं अब जरूरत क्या है कोई पूछ रहे तो देन आई थिंक दे रिकवर्ड एंड दे सर अगर कोई एक्सीडेंट एक्सीडेंट हो गया कम से कम अकाउंटेबिलिटी तो होगी वरना परमिशन नहीं देंगे तो कैसे पता चलेगा कौन कर रहा है क्या कर रहा है Then CM sir said, "Okay, let's do one thing. Just say, 'I'm not right to education. Key here, right to information. Kar rahe. Let us make right to self certification a choice of the investor. If we declare that I am going to be a law law abiding industry, law abiding institution, then let us take it at face value. Self certification allow kar do. Sathi sath, because you said we need compliance, we need information. Let them also submit something online so that we have a record." We do good bookkeeping and we decide ki kaun kya kar raha hai, kaise kar raha hai. This kind of disruption and innovation in policy is what Telangana has indulged in over the last nine years, consistent. Not only in industrial policy in TSI pass. Ek is 15 days mein permission de denge, agar nahi denge to solve ho, automatic approval. Koi Hindustan ki koi raj aapko nahi batati. Aur jaise jaise senior bureaucrat ko bhi aaj. एक हजार रुपए का फाइन लग सकता है अगर आपका फाइल उसने सोलवा दिन या सत्रह दिन आपको अगर उन्होंने होल्ड किया हुआ है तो ये कैन बी फाइन रुपीज वन थाउजेंड पर डे दिस इज बाई स्टैचू बाई लेजिस्लेशन नो इंडियन स्टेट विल टेल यू दिस एंड मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंटली नॉट जस्ट इन इंडस्ट्रियल पॉलिसी इवन आर बिल्डिंग परमिशन टूडे ऑल बिल्डिंग परमिशन अगेन इन द सेम मॉडल ट्वेंटी वन डेज वी प्रोमिस ऑल क्लियरेंसेज इफ यू डोंट डेलीवर ट्वेंटी सेकेंड डे इट्स डीम अप्रूव नो स्टेट इन इंडिया विल टेल यू दिस these are the disruptions that honorable chief minister brought that's why today somebody asked me what is this telangana model that you gloat about brag about i only say four things it's holistic integrated it is inclusive most importantly it's balanced what do i mean what i mean is today telangana when i said dr y s rashekar d h chandrababu naidu and the contrast between the two of them and how telangana is a amalgamation of the best in both The reason why I say that is because we are less than three three percent of India's population. But today, the National Municipality Award, the National Municipality Award, declared by the government of India, this state with less than three percent wins thirty percent of the awards. No other Indian state is in it able to accomplish that kind of feat. We are only two and a half percent of India's population, but we contribute to five percent of India's GDP. Literally, we are a fifty kilo boxer fighting in hundred kilo category, punching double our weight. Not many states in India can claim that. Most importantly, we have ensured that this development is holistic. We have not neglected any sector. Our IT sector and IT exports have risen from 56,000 crores in 2014 to 2,41,000 crores in 2023. Our IT exports have risen, but IT exports have risen, but so have our agricultural exports. In 2014, we procured. 68 lakh metric tons of paddy rice, but today we procure three and a half crore metric tons of paddy. So our balance that you see between agri and IT, our industry has grown. 47 billion dollars of investment has been attracted by Telangana State. As I said, 24 percent of that investment is repeat investment. Our industry has grown, has created jobs, but so has our environment. Our green cover is improved by 7.7 percent, highest in the country for any state. But this is the kind of balance I'm talking about. Our development and welfare go hand in hand. 
our rural development, urban development go hand in hand, our IT exports and IB exports grow hand in hand, our industry and environment also grow hand in hand. That's why I call my state the most successful startup of independent India in the last 75 years. My humble request to FTCCI, I'm not happy with this relative achievements, relative to other states. I think we have to do more. We have to achieve more. We have to really make an impact on a global scale. So my humble request, like I said, prepare the next gen to take on the world, prepare the next gen to create products that will make not just Telanganites, but India proud. And I hope FTCCI can drive us in, the, in that direction. You mentioned a couple of things, Anilji. I will, of course, take all of those issues up with you and uh, your office bearers. I'll also have to run it by the Honorable Chief Minister before I can make any firm announcement here. But yes, the ODS that you mentioned, I will make it happen. I've already informed uh, Jayesh to take up the matter. The one-time settlement of pending electricity areas, we'll take it up, we'll get it done. But the baki two things I've told you, I'll tell you about it privately privately. And we'll make it happen, but just that we need our boss's blessing. So thank you, FECCI, for inviting us. Uh, you know, this is a hat-trick, like I said. And uh, I hope to come back next year as well and present the award. Thank you. Jai Tarnit.